Hello and welcome to the next episode of the uh, War of Rex Quickfire tutorial series. In this episode we'll be going over tugs, uh, how they work, the, the math behind them and the capabilities, um, as well as their uses and various other important things. So, I'm going to show you a few things. First thing I'm going to show you is my tug. Uh, I'm currently in the Halo game. So this is the tug here. Um, 40 engines, 3600 and uh this is the station that i will be showing uh, i will be moving so how the math works i'll be putting this on screen is that the power density from engine tech so that is for ion 12.5 so engine power per hs so 12.5 uh multiplied by engine power modifier of the engine that is being used so that is 0 0.3 in this case so 12.5 times 0 0.3 then multiplied by engine size, so it's 80 size, or 80 HS, uh, for the commercial ion drive here. So that'd be 12.5 times 0 0.3 times 80, and then times 40 by number of engines, and then uh, times either 1,000 for, if you're going to do it in H, if, if you're going to do the math in HS, or 50,000 if you're going to do it by tons. So... Uh, it will be power density, so 12.5 times 0 0.3 times um, uh, times 80 times 40 multiplied by 50,000 uh, and then divided by the ship size of both the tug and the ship it's tugging. So that will equate to um, uh, 215,253. Uh, uh, so that will give me a speed of 2787 kilometers a second okay uh, i that will be on screen but that is the general math behind it uh, for tugs you need a ship tractor beam and the way you get that is you go into uh logistics you go over here and you you find ship ship tracks beam and you research that so with that math in mind you can then design how you want your tugs so a tug can either be uh you know 12 it, it can either be how use military engines generally it favors uh better power multipliers um if you want faster but if you want to save on your fuel efficiency you can just use commercial engines and lots of them um that is the general idea with how tugs are um you they can be used in various ways such as um and i'll show this here uh, if we go to the um, HH Andromeda over here, and I'm going to show you by Tug Group Alpha. I'm going to move over here. So this currently has a Tug. So I'm moving 2,787 km a second, tugging this station here. Now they can be used to move jump stabilization stations. They can also be used to move um, other ships. Uh, can they can move uh, terraformers ev all everything they can also be used to rescue ships that have lost their engines uh, and you can put them on pretty much anything and they do not stack by the way you can only one ship can only took one other ship um and now i'm gonna go and show you the orders for them so for a tug you've got two options you can either track to any ship in the fleet and that will track to the heaviest ship in the fleet um, and this allows you to cycle orders properly. So, uh, track special. If you if this had three uh, stations in it, I'm going to track to any ship, and they will just go back and forth between whatever place I want to put them and the fleet itself. Um, then you have tractor specified ship, which you can track to any kind of ship and specify it by just double clicking. Um, and then you click release tractor ships at whatever point you want to release them at, and it will release them, and they will stay there. That is the general idea with tugs. That's how they work. That is the math behind them. I hope you did enjoy. Um, I'm going to be ending this episode. And the next episode, we will be going uh, into further tutorials on around basic features around the game. Um, if you want to leave a suggestion for that, there will be a link down below with a spreadsheet where you can submit a suggestion. Uh, and if you want to like or subscribe, please do so as a... Uh, only about 20% of the people who watch do actually subscribe um, and any support is duly noted and uh, appreciated. Um, and I hope you did enjoy the video and got what you need out of it. Um, bye and I hope you have, a, you have had a good day.
I'll see you next time.